So your first time home buyer trying to buy your first house in 2024 to find out you put in the application, your credit's good, your income's good, you just don't have enough money. So what do you do? Well, there's thousands upon thousands of down payment assistance programs out there, but most of them are completely terrible. They're going to come with a much higher interest rate, a ton more in fees. So in the long run, you're going to pay multiples of, of the money that they're going to give you. So what can you do? Well, here's what you can do. Because of the reason why we did this is to realize 39% of the people out there don't have enough to put down a 5% down payment, let alone come up with closing costs. So what's the cure? We have three grant programs that we've, we have we can want to offer you at this time. One is for $10,000. Now you can use that for down payment. You can use it for your closing costs. You can use it for a combination of the two. The next one is $5,250, kind of the same thing. Um, but in most cases, if you heard me just a little bit ago, most cases when you're buying your first house, you need 3% of a down payment. You don't need five or 10 or 25% down. You only need three. Okay, so if you're still lacking on the three, what we have also is the third option here is we're going to give you two of that 3%. So how do you find out if you qualify? Great question. So let's get over to it. We just added a brand new tab uh, to our system and I want to show you it. It is right up there. It says grant. Okay, what the grant is, you're going to click it and here's what's going to pop up. It's going to give you the grant finder loan. Okay, you can see we have a, a grant program for up to 10,000 and it kind of teeters down from there. So let, let's walk through it to show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to do one that's really simple at this time, and then we're going to go in and complicate it just a little bit so you can see how it works. So the first thing you're going to do is go through here, and I already pre-started filling this, but let's just refresh the screen so we can get back to square one. So this is what's going to come up. You're going to need to answer these questions and answer them precisely. If you guess or you kind of flub a little bit on it, thinking, oh, nobody's going to catch it, we'll catch it, folks. So make sure your, all your data that you put in is accurate so your results are accurate. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do in this is we're gonna make this one as simple as we can. Let's just say, I am applying a loan. I've been working really hard on my credit. My credit score is now 640. Are you a first time home buyer? Yes, I am. And do you live in any of the areas below? I, I'm this In this case, I'm pulling out a house in Elgin, Illinois. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I live in this area, in that home right now. So I'm gonna pick yes. The next step down is gonna say, okay, now we need your census track. Okay, what is a census track? Well, basically you're gonna click this button. What it's gonna do is it's gonna launch you out to this system right here, okay? So I actually just found a house in Elgin, Illinois. I took the address, I posted it down through here, and I want you, this is the tricky part, folks, so you need to pay attention on this one. You're gonna plug in the address there. Then you're gonna click the results. What you're looking for is right here. I want the census tracking code and the, and the census track geo ID. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the census track. We're gonna scroll down. And remember, we're looking for census track GOID. So let's keep going. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And we're getting closer, and there it is, the census track, and we need the geo ID. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna highlight that, that is the geo code address for that particular property, and we're going to copy that and plug it in right through here. Bear with me one second. This was the tricky part even when we're beta testing it, but unfortunately there is just no way around this thing. Okay, so there's my address. What is your annual pre-tax income? Well, I make $45,000, right? That's that. Where are you looking to buy? Well, I'm looking to buy in Illinois in the same area. So I'm gonna put Illinois, and that the county of that property is in Cook County, so Cook County. What are the results? What's the purchase price of the home? Oh, there's more questions. I'm gonna say $350,000. Click it and what's the results? Nothing, well, there is. Let's scroll down through here. So what, you're, what you would qualify for in this, in this scenario, you'd qualify for the one plus. That's the one where we give you two of the 3% if you need it down. So that'll give you up to, that'll give you $7,000 in grant money. Okay, the next one is the Purchase Plus. It's another grant program you would qualify for, up to $5,250. Well, let me get my head out of the way because there's another one over there. You're probably saying, Dan, why don't I qualify for the 10,000? Well, let's see why. My credit score isn't high enough. So let's go, now I work on this diligently for the next couple months and I get my credit score up to 680. So let's see what that does for us. Let's go in here and we're gonna put in 680 now because I worked really hard on that. So now let's go down and see what my results are. I can qualify for all these. 
So now what do you do? Well, you hit the apply now button. So let's, let's complicate this a little bit. Let's go back through and answer some questions because you don't have to be a first time home buyer for every one of these programs. But what we tried to do is tell you down in the guts, if you didn't qualify for any of these, what the reason was. So let's go back through here and say, well, let's, let's for hypothetical reasons say, I don't live in any of these areas below. So let's click no. Let's see what happens now. So we're gonna click down. We're gonna scroll down through here. Now what programs do I fit into? The one plus, that is the 2% that we give you on the first time home buyer program that requires 3% down. But the nice thing through this is you're seeing right through here, must currently live in a qualified area. Okay, so what are the qualified areas? Well, you can go up through here and these are the qualified areas right through here. Okay, again, if you wanna take a deep dive into it, you could say yes. And you can actually go in here and try to find your address again with the geocode, uh, the geocode system right through there. Okay, so that's basically a, an introduction to this program. So you guys are getting a first glance at this thing because it was launched just today. So you might want to jump on this thing before more and more people find out flooding our phone for, uh, flooding our phone lines. So again, this is a down payment assistance, basically a grant finder for you guys to use if you're out there trying to find down payment assistance programs to help you qualify for a home in 2024. Thanks so much for watching, guys. God bless. Don't forget to check out our main page, The Rate Update with Dan Friel on YouTube, and also The Rate Update is where you're going to find our application for this grant program. Take care, folks. God bless. Bye-bye.